COVID-19. I'm going to turn it immediately over to our Madison County Health Director, Eric Weist. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, good afternoon. As the Chairman said, my name is Eric Feist. I'm the Director of Public Health for Madison County. I'm going to start by giving you uh, some information on the number of tests and uh, positives we have. We've currently tested 246 individuals. We had 128 tests that are pending. We have 97 negative tests and 21 positive tests. On the slide behind me, you'll see that We've been displaying that information by zip code across the county to give you a sense of where the cases are. We also have 140, 104 people placed in quarantine or in isolation at this time. So as you can see in the news, both nationally and New York State, that we are seeing a significant rise in number of cases. And by this graphic here, you can see the number of cases in Madison County reflects both the state and national trends as well. We are getting test results back faster and more people are getting tested. So we expect this to happen. Uh, we expect it to continue to happen uh, over the next several weeks. And as has been mentioned both at the national and state level, we're probably looking at April or May for uh, the peak of this, this outbreak. And hopefully it'll start the downward trend after that. So what we're doing in Madison County and our part to help lower the, or reduce the increase in rate of, of cases, as well as to, as you've heard, probably flatten the curve. Uh, there's a couple of strategies that we are implementing. The first and most important is con containment. And as I mentioned, we are isolating and quarantining individuals. That is to keep them separate from the general public to reduce and minimize exposures to others. I would like to emphasize to those individuals that we have in quarantine, first of all, thank you for those that are in quarantine that are being voluntarily compliant and helping out. There are those that um, need to take quarantine a lot more seriously and understand that you uh, are, are there for a purpose, for a reason, to help prevent the spread of this disease. I do want to emphasize that if you fail to stick to the quarantine requirements, you could face criminal charges as well as fines. So I do want to stress the importance of quarantine. For the most part, the majority are adhering to it, and I want to thank them. But for the, for the others, you just need to impress upon you the importance of doing your part and, and staying in quarantine and following the guidance therein. The other part of the strategy is uh, social distancing. You've heard this message for the last several weeks and consistently from this office that to, to practice social distancing, if you go out for a walk or go to a store to get groceries, you know, maintain distances from others. Uh, wash your hands, stay at home if you can. Don't go out on any un unnecessary visits or travels. Um, and then, you know, check in on the elderly, make sure they're taken care of, maybe pick up food items for them and deliver them, but help out in any way that you can. And we're seeing great, great evidence of people stepping up to the plate and helping others and I want to appreciate their efforts as well. We have nurses that are were retired from the county that have come back to help us out. We have medical reserve core personnel that have volunteered their time and they are working with my staff seven days a week to ensure that we are meeting with the people that are positive and identifying those who have been exposed to get them quarantined and separated from the general public. But the general public still has to do their duty and they have a responsibility to take this social distancing and other practices to heart. It's extremely important and you're part of the solution. As far as demographics go, um, you can see from the chart that the virus does not discriminate by age or gender. 65% of our cases are those under the age of 60, the median age of 52 and ranges from 12 to 82 years of age. Every day we're taking, we're testing more and more individuals, and so these numbers will keep those up to date as well. We're working with our local healthcare providers in both hospitals to ensure several things. One, that the testing is available for those who, who need it, that the protective equipment is available to the healthcare workers who need it to protect them and keep them safe, and that the guidance and information is provided to the residents of our community 
so that they can make healthy and safe choices. We are currently uh, also surveying essential businesses. There are several businesses that have to stay open, such as grocery stores uh, and other types of businesses. We are currently surveying all these essential businesses to make sure that the practices uh, they have put into place to protect their employees, to make sure that their establishments are clean, and to also make sure that they are protecting the patrons of those establishments to keep them safe and healthy as well. Uh, we will continue to work with that and continue to push out more information and guidance to them um, and help them through this as well. So I appreciate all the work that everyone's doing and ask and impress upon you just to continue to do more. Thank you. I'm going to turn it back over to the chair. Thank you, Eric. <clears throat> now more than ever, it is important for Madison County residents to come together. I know several of our communities have raised concerns during this time, but we have always been a strong community and we will get through this. Although we are in this time of social distancing, we must all do our part to help stop the spread of this disease. It may take a while before we see the effects of the measures we are taking, but the goal is to flatten the curve so that we do not overwhelm our emergency workers and ultimately limit the spread of the disease. As a reminder, please practice social distancing, a distance of six feet from others, whether it's at the grocery store, while you're out on a walk, or anywhere else in the public. As well, it is important to maintain good hygiene, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Disinfect surfaces, as these are the best defense, along with social distancing, to stop the spread. This also means when you are tested, stay home until you've gotten the results. As our health director said, that's one of our biggest concerns, is people that are supposed to be quarantined and going out of quarantine or in between your test, go home and wait till your test results get back. Again, we ask that everyone please stay home, even if you are feeling well, as you can get it and give it to others. We need to protect the health of our community we all can do our part to get this, get through this time. We will come out of this stronger than ever. Massa County Emergency Management is working hard to acquire supplies that are desperately needed. We have heard from the state the supplies are, are on their way, but we have not seen any yet. I have reached out to the governor's office again today, and we are still waiting on supplies. I was told from the governor's office, if we don't get our supplies, we should try to acquire them on their own. And our emergency management team is uh, trying to acquire them on their own, and they're doing a very good job. If you have PPE or other supplies that you can donate or are for purchase, please contact our emergency management at em at madisoncounty.ny.gov. In the meantime, there is no better time to buy local than now. In this time, let's remember our small businesses. It isn't only the folks that are going to be sick from getting this disease, if you're unfortunate, and get this disease. It's our local businesses that are going to be hurting. Our people that are out of work, that are unemployed, that are going to be hurting. Um, we here in Madison County have put together a one-stop spot for you to think shop and buy local during this COVID-19 outbreak. Please go to the madisoncountyny.com and you can find a full list of restaurants, gyms, and other retail agencies that have, come, that have closed their doors to the public, but you can still buy things online. Get takeout or even check out online gym classes. If you would like to add a business to the list, please message the Buy Madison County Facebook page. Another thing that's very important to our county, our county is going to be transformed forever by this, forever. Uh, we are going to come out the other side of this, uh, a different county uh, with different revenues, uh, different departments, different things that all of us do, and a different community here in Massey County, frankly. Um, our DMV is still uh, doing a little bit of work once a week. They're taking in the mail. So instead of sending your registrations to New York State like they would like you to do, 
please send them here to Madison County, P.O. Box 667, Wamsville, New York, 13163. The state is looking at this as a revenue stream for them, and the state is looking for anything they can to keep themselves afloat right now during this crisis. And that means that the locals are going to be hurting uh, when the state's in crisis. So please, you've always heard us talk about our DMV. We've got one of the best ones in the state. Please send your stuff to our DMV and uh, keep help us keep your property taxes low, uh, this year especially. We don't know what's going to happen. Also, uh, on a note, I'd like to ask everybody, and I'm asking, if you're fortunate enough to be home working and drawing your paycheck, or uh, you're still working, when this federal check comes, I'm asking everybody uh, who's still working or uh, you're being paid at home to consider donating that check to someone who's out of work. Buy a gift certificate for your, from your local restaurant or buy five or ten gift certificates from your local restaurant. Keep going out once a week and uh, doing takeout. Uh, buy movie gift cards. Buy gift cards for the grocery stores for, for people who... Uh, are hurting right now and can't afford to get to the store or are just getting by. Um, the whole theme of this is we're one community, we're Madison County, we're in this together. You've heard me say it before, it doesn't matter what township this is in. You need to practice washing your hands, staying socially distant, and let's keep an eye out for one another. Our seniors, and as you've seen on the statistics, anybody can be affected. Um, stay safe and thank you We'll probably do another press conference next week, and we're thinking about doing a frequently asked questions spot, uh, maybe at the beginning to uh, mid next week. So thank you until then.